Hi students, welcome to the class. Today I am going to do the exercise 10.1. The question is based on direct variations. What do you mean by direct variation? If both quantity either increase or both decrease, the variation is called direct variation. Suppose uh, price and the quantity if price increases the quantity will increase so both are in direct variation same way if the quantity decreases the price will decrease this is direct variation so if both are in same variation it is called a direct variation so the before going to do exercise 10.1 we go to what is direct variation and what is the formula for direct variation? A variation where an increase in one quantity causes an increase in other quantity or decrease in one quantity causes a decrease in the other quantity is called a direct variation if their ratio remains constant. If their ratios are constant, then if one quantity increases, the other quantity also increase. And if one quantity decrease, other quantity also decrease. This is direct variation. So, when x and y are in direct proportion, this is also called a direct proportion. Direct proportion, then x1 by y1 equal to x2 by y2, where y1 and y2 are the values of y corresponding to the values x1 and x2 of x respectively. And which symbolize x by, x by y is a constant, x, x by y equal to k a constant. So, in direct variation, we will use x1 1 by 1 equal to x2 by y2. Now, we will go to the exercise. Exercise 10.1. If x varies directly with y, then find the values of x2 and y3 in the table. We have a table and it given that x and y are in direct variation. And here x1 and y1 are given. x2 is not given. y2 is given x3 is given, y3 is not given. So, first we have to find out x2. So, I told you in the direct variation, x1 by y1 equal to x2 by y2. So, here we take 3 by 45 is equal to x2 by 60 and cross multiply. So, 45 into x2 equal to 3 into 60. Therefore, x2 equal to 3 into 60 by 45 equal to 4. And to get y3, we can equate x1, y1 and x3, y3. So, 3 by 4, 3 by 45, because 3 and 45 are x1 and y1 are the non-values. So, we can equate x1, y1 and x3, y3. So, 3 by 45 equal to 9 by y3 and cross multiply, cross multiply. So, 3 into y3 equal to 9 into 45 so y3 equal to 9 into 45 by 3 equal to 135 our next question raj bought 35 packs of crayons for rupees 700 roy bought seven packs of same crayons how much did roy pay here raj bought 35 packs of crayons for rupees 700 roy bought seven packs of same crayons we know that the if the number of packets decreases the price will also decrease so this is a direct variation here if the number of packets of crayon increase the price will increase if the number of packets of crayons decrease the price will decrease here roy bought only seven packets so the number of packets is decreased so automatically the amount will decrease so this is a direct variation i told you for direct variation the formula is x1 by y1 equal to x2 by y2. So, you equate here x1 is 35, y1 equal to 700 and x2 is equal to 7 and y2 equal to that we have to find out the number of packets that Roy bought. Uh, the number of packets is given the cost for that 7 packets. So, x1 by y1 equal to x2 by y2. So, 35 by 700 equal to 7 by 
y2 is equal to 35 into y2 equal to 7 into 700. So y2 equal to 7 into 700 by 35 is equal to 140 rupees. So price for 7 packets equal to 140 rupees. So Roy, Roy have to pay rupees 140 rupees. Our third one, if the cost of 4 kilogram rice is rupees 90, then how much rice can be purchased with rupees 247.50 here the cost of 4 kilogram of rice is given it is 90 and the amount is given 247.50 and the question is how much rice can be purchased so this is a direct variation we know that if the amount is increased the amount of the quantity of rice also increase so this is a direct variation here x1 equal to 4 y1 equal to 90 x2 uh, x2 we don't know we have to find out y2 equal to 247.50 so by our formula x1 by y1 equal to x2 by y2 we equate 4 by 90 equal to x2 by 247.50 so 4 by 90 into 247.50 is equal to x2 so x2 equal to after simplification we will get it is 11 so the weight of rice equal to 11 kilogram so 11 kilogram rice can be purchased now our fourth question if x varies directly with 5y and x equal to 15 when y equal to 75 find the value of y when x equal to 7 here x varies directly with 5y so we know that x by 5y is a constant since x varies directly with the 5y, x by 5y equal to a constant. Here it is given that x equal to 15 when y equal to 75. So first you find out the constant. For To get that constant, you substitute the value of x and y. So when x equal to 15, y equal to 75, you substitute the ratio x by 5y. 15 by 5 into 75 is a constant. So, you the given values of x and y, you substitute in that constant x by 5y, you will get the constant value, it is 1 by 5. So, we got the constant as 1 by 5. Now, we can find value of y when x equal to 7. So, the constant is 1 by, Here the constant is 1 by 25 is a constant. 15 by 5 into 75 equal to a constant. After simplification we will get 1 by 25 is a constant. So you substitute the value of x equal to 7. In that ratio you will get the value of y. So 1 by 25 equal to 7 by 5y. Simplify, after simplifying that is equal to 5y equal to 7 into 25. So, y equal to 7 into 25 by 5 equal to 7 into 5 equal to 35. So, the value of y equal to 35. Next one, if x varies directly with the 3y plus 5 and y equal to 5 by 3 when x equal to 10, then what is the value of y when x equal to 36? Here, x varies directly with the 3y plus 5. So, X, since x varies directly with the 3y plus 5, x by 3y plus 5 a constant. Since x and 3y plus 5 are varies directly, x by 3y plus 5 a constant. So first you find the constant. For this, for you use the given values when x equal to 10, y equal to 3 by 5. You substitute in x by 3, 3y plus 5 we will get 10 by 3 into 3 by 5 plus 5 equal to a constant. So, simple, after simplification, you will get 1 is that constant. So, when x equal to 36, 36 by 3 into y plus 5 equal to 1. After simplification, so 36 equal to 3y plus 5. So, y equal to 31 by 3. So, in this type of question, you check which are the varies directly, which quantities varies directly. So, here x and 3y 
plus y. So, x by 3y plus y a constant. And in the previous question, fourth one, if x varies directly with 5y. So, x by 5y is a constant. So, first you find out the constant in this type of question. And you equate then you can find the other quantity. Okay, students. Thanks for watching.